What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today's video is slightly different than my usual hauls. I thought for a change, instead of doing a video about clothing that I actually like myself, I would do something a bit different and pick up clothes from Pretty Little Thing that I deem as like out of my comfort zone. I mean, it's no secret that I personally am just such a lover of neutral colors. It's the colors that I feel best in, such as beiges and whites. So a a lot of the clothing in this video do happen to be quite colorful and honestly I'm really keen to try it out. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around be sure to subscribe down below. But if you guys want to see me try out some clothes that are definitely out of my comfort zone then without further ado let's get into it. Okay so the first piece of clothing that I saw on Pretty Little Thing I just knew I had to get because as soon as I saw this I just thought how the heck would I actually make this wearable? It is so far out of my comfort zone. I don't know where I would have an occasion to wear something like this, but this is it. As you can see, it's bright neon yellow. It is literally a full on lace. What is this called? Like a jumpsuit? It's completely and utterly sheer. It goes all the way down. And yeah, I just... It's so out of my comfort zone. I'm definitely kind of scared about trying this on. Honestly, I just feel like I will not be able to pull it off at all. But I'm definitely keen to just like try out colors, try out different textures and just see if I like them because who knows. So I guess without further ado, let's try this first item out. All right guys, so here is the first outfit and what it looks like on. I have to say it is literally so crazy. Maybe not for everyone, but for me, for someone that doesn't wear color or pattern like literally ever this is pretty full on. I've just popped on some neutral shorts and a bandeau underneath just to kind of like blend it into my skin, not make it too obvious and just kind of like camouflage the private areas, you know? And actually I think it looks pretty seamless. This is what it looks like from the front as well as the back. I'm still not sure where I would wear an outfit like this. Also the trousers are like pretty flared. Can you see that? Maybe like a festival this outfit would work for, but like just on a casual day out, I'm gonna say no. It's not actually badly made either like with the outfit itself there's nothing wrong with it and it's pretty well fitted to my body actually would I say that upon trying this on I'm now changed into a colorful person I'm gonna say no still but I mean it was definitely fun trying it on and I don't hate it as much as I thought I would moving right along the next outfit I have is a little bit of a co-ord and this is a little sneak peek into what this entails as you can see it's very colorful and it's also knitted. Holy moly. Okay, yeah, this is this is it. This is definitely very out of my comfort zone. I mean, it's a very, very loose, cropped kind of knit sweater, I would say. It's got a really cool, like, deep neckline. Does that make sense? It's like very, very wide. And then the sleeves are literally like the same length as the actual cropped part of the hoodie, which is crazy. This is definitely giving like summer festival vibes. And as if this wasn't enough, it also comes with a knitted skirt to match. This is what the skirt looks like. Again, it is so out of my typical style. Like I do not wear patterned things. I do not wear these kinds of colors often and definitely not knitted things like this. It looked kind of interesting on the model. So I'm gonna give this a go. Let's try it on. Okay guys, see so here is the next outfit in all its glory. Look at these freaking wings that I've just acquired. How freaking extra are these sleeves? Like, I'm sorry, if I was to eat anything, I'd just be like dipping my sleeves in all the food. It is pretty funky though. And I mean, I don't hate it. I actually kind of like it, which is so strange. Like I said, I just do not wear things of this sort, if that makes sense. I do not wear knitted things. I don't really wear like really colorful pattern things. And then the sleeve on top of that. I mean, are you kidding? This outfit is literally the most un-Roxy outfit I've ever tried on. It's giving very like boho hippie vibes, which I'm not mad at. I mean, it's kind of fun. Again, for like a festival, this could be kind of cute. It's very breezy, very flowy. I mean, look at them dang holes. Like that is literally not going to keep you warm at all. Once again, I've just got my bando underneath so you know I'm not gonna flash anyone in this but yeah I mean I don't hate it like again it's very not me but I could get on board with this don't get me wrong I wouldn't choose it for myself but if somebody said Roxy can you wear this outfit I'd be like 
Sure, why not? And the sleeves are definitely giving a very powerful boss girl, so you know, I'm here for it. I think on the scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this outfit like a seven? I think that's what it deserves. Okay, moving on to the next item. I saw this and it just screamed at me. I just needed to get it for this video. This outfit is probably the most out of my comfort zone outfit, that's for sure. I mean, as you can see, it comes with like parts and it's very small. You have guessed it, it is a knit, like tight looking outfit. It's very, very holy, as you can see. This is genuinely giving me flashbacks to that freaky Skims outfit that I tried around Valentine's Day. So as you can see, these are the straps. This is the front. It's very, very see-through. So again, I'm gonna have to wear something underneath this. It then comes with what appears to be kind of like a skirt to go over. And again, it's very, very holy. And lastly, it comes with these two things, which I'm guessing are like the gloves kind of thing. Honestly, this outfit is the smallest outfit I think I've ever tried on. So let's go pop it on and just see how it looks. What have we got to lose? Okay, this is literally ridiculous. Are you seeing this? I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty comfortable though. Obviously, again, I'm having to wear the bandeau and the shorts underneath just so that I don't flash you guys because this is so freaking revealing. It is it's kind of funky though. I am really liking like all the different cutouts. It looks really interesting. It's definitely giving like Moogla vibes. It is also kind of giving me like stripper vibes though. So I don't know how to feel about this. I probably would not wear this out. <laughs> On Pretty Little Thing, they marketed this as like a festival kind of outfit, you know? But I mean, I feel like it's just a bit too much. It is kind of cool that it comes in two pieces though. Like it's got the skirt and then it's got like this little body. It's got the gloves. It's like a full on outfit, you know? Know, like it's kind of cool. Once again, definitely out of my comfort zone. Like I would never wear this ever. So this is what it looks like from the front as well as the back. It is so freaking revealing in the back. Thank God I'm wearing these shorts. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this outfit. Would you ever wear something like this out? Because honestly, I just, I can't even imagine it. All right, moving on to the next outfit. We have this one right here. This is a little blue number. Very, very like seaside. I feel like this would be amazing for like a seaside kind of holiday. It's very interesting though. Look at this like pattern and color. I think it's so cool. I'm pretty sure this is like the wrap top. It looks crazy. It has like no shape whatsoever. I think you're supposed to wrap it around like your back then round the front and then kind of twist it into like a halter neck thing. And then for the bottoms, we have a matching midi skirt or maybe it's a maxi skirt, I don't know. But I mean, the quality feels nice and everything, but it's just the pattern. The pattern is definitely very out of my comfort zone. I normally do not wear this much color and this much pattern. Look at the fabric though. It's kind of like a really thin pleased kind of fabric. It's really nice. This is the thing. I normally would never pick this up for myself just because because of the pattern, but the actual quality of it and like the fabric is really nice. So I guess we'll see how we get on with it. Okay, this is definitely not my normal vibe. This is just giving not Roxy. I don't know, I don't feel like me wearing this outfit. It's the colors, it's the patterns, maybe even the shape of the top. Like I don't normally wear tops like this, the crisscross kind. But now that I have it on, I mean, I don't mind it too much. I think it's definitely very like beachy vibes, definitely given holiday. So I mean, maybe I would wear this on holiday, but out and about in the UK, I definitely would not. You know, sometimes when you go on holiday and you like just dress to like fit the country or like fit the vibe and it's not really your personal style, but it still kind of works. That's how I feel about this outfit. I feel like I could make it work, but definitely abroad. In terms of the actual quality of the outfit though, it's so nice. I actually really like the top and the way it fits. It doesn't feel too booby. I am still wearing my bandeau underneath, but I feel like I could wear it without and it would be okay. As for the skirt, it is so nicely fitted. It's super stretchy, so I can still like walk and you know, it's not too like tight around the ankles. But yeah, this with like a nice pair of heels or sandals would be such a cute outfit. So I'm actually liking this one. This is probably the only one I would actually wear out and 
I think I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10. Moving on to the next outfit, we are gonna be trying out another neon kind of outfit. As you guys know, I just do not wear neon like at all. So the color in itself is already a lot for me. We're starting out with the bottoms of the outfit. You can probably tell this is gonna be a co ord Basically, these are the shorts. There's nothing that bad about them. Honestly, I really like the style and the shape of them. It's just the color. However, the top is where it all happens. Here is the top. That is it. That is all to it. You basically wear it like this, like over the tatas. And then you use these things to like wrap it around. And honestly, I'm just like, why? Like how? How is this gonna hold anything in place? I feel like it's just gonna be so revealing and just one wrong move and your boob is gonna fly out on show. That is why this item is definitely out of my comfort zone just for that reason. I just thought it was too interesting to not try out though. So let's go pop this outfit on and see how it looks. Okay, so as you guys can see, this outfit is definitely so out of my comfort zone that I probably would never ever wear this out. It's precisely the reason why I'm wearing a bandeau underneath because it's just way too booby for me. Like I do not like to show this much off. And with this top, you kind of don't really have a choice because this is like the only thing that's really gonna cover your boobs up. Granted, you can adjust like how close this is, but then you do get the side boob. So you kind of have to pick, do you wanna cover up your side boob or do you wanna cover up your cleavage? If you don't really mind showing off your girls, then this top would be perfectly fine. And it's actually quite funky, I think. But I do actually really like the concept like the way that it kind of like sits under the bust it just ties in at the back like that so it's completely backless and then you've got like these two little flappy decorative bits which I mean you know it kind of looks cool as for the shorts they're really really comfortable there's literally nothing wrong with them they're very snatching so I really really like these actually on a scale of 1 to 10 I think I'm gonna give this outfit like a 2 just because practically I would never wear this okay and now the last item we're gonna be trying out is this dress right right here and as you can see it is very very extra it's totally out of my comfort zone the color is super bright although I do love my pinks and second of all I mean it's just so revealing with like that hip detail again I have no idea where I would wear something like this but I just thought it was so cool and so interesting that we had to try it out for this video here is the dress first things first the fabric is really nice and slinky definitely a big fan of that it's pretty normal from like the top half it has like a really nice square neckline and then where the party starts is as you go down to like this hip level it's so low it's got this massive cutout which I mean I'm hoping is gonna look okay on me it also then has this massive slit on the side I mean I guess we're gonna see. Let's go try it on and see how it looks. Okay, this dress is actually really, really stunning. I love the fabric that this is made out of and the way that it fits. However, look at these freaking cutouts. I'm sorry, if I wasn't wearing these shorts underneath, you would literally have a gateway into my crotch. It is just a little bit too cut out for my liking. I mean, you could try and adjust it over to the side, but then this seam really just becomes out of line with your body. I don't actually mind this cutout so much. I thought it was gonna be a lot lower, but actually it's just kind of like hitting my hip bone and it's actually kind of flattering. So I don't really mind it, but it's just this cutout right here. It's just so, so big. Also the actual bust area of this top is really, really slender. I feel like my boobs are not fitting in it. But yeah, all in all, I don't mind the dress too much. It's just this cutout. I feel like it's just so extra. Definitely something that I would never wear out. And now having tried it in this video, it just confirms it for me. This slit is too much. So on the scale of one to 10, I'm probably gonna give this like a five out of 10. All right guys, so that was everything for today's video and me trying out some very out of my comfort zone kind of outfits. Let me know which one of these was your favorite and whether you have ever tried any like out of your comfort zone outfits and actually liked them. I feel like a few of these I've actually liked, which I did not expect at all. So it just goes to show it's definitely really fun to try out things that aren't your typical style and who knows you might even like them if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already but that is all from me thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one bye mm.